Oh my god, it really is Chester. Sit down. Thank you. Don't worry, it's not me. Let me introduce you to Carolyn Tan, your new boss. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Carolyn's been with DBS for 12 years and was instrumental in developing our mobile banking platform. I've read all about your work. It's such an honor to be working with you. I'll leave you to it. And likewise, I've read up on all your files. You're the high-flying young bankers, single-handedly helped Lindsay launch her startup and signed Finley Group as a new client. Impressive. Thank you, thank you. And with such an impressive group, I'm sure you'll be able to take on a few more responsibilities. Um, what? From now on, I want you into work at 8, make that 7 a.m. sharp. One last thing, I've signed you all up for the FinTech Innovation Lab. Yes! You'll get to work alongside IT experts and experiment with cutting-edge technology. Banking is going through a revolution. We can no longer just be game players. We need to be game changers. Okay, let's get to work. Uh, Jasper. Hi. There's a client that asked specifically to meet with you. She's waiting okay. for you outside. Right, well, thank you. Lovely to meet you. You too. Hi, I'm Jack. Jane. Hi, Jasper. Um, what's it been? It's six, seven years, right? Six, actually. I'm so sorry. Please, please sit down. Um, well, congratulations on the baby. Thank you. What? No invitation to the wedding. It's not very nice. I didn't marry. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't I mean... I made a mistake by getting involved with someone I have no business being with. When I got pregnant, he gave me some money to go our separate ways. But I want to invest the money and make sure she's taken care of. She? It's a girl. Well, girls are wonderful. It's boys that are trouble. At least that's what my mum tells me. <laughs> you can always cheer me up. I don't know much about investments, so I wanted to get the opinion of a professional from someone I trust. Anyway, let me introduce you to some of our investments. You haven't invested before, so... My friend recommended this to me. Okay. New Horizon. It's a new company. They specialize in peer-to-peer -peer lending. This is Victor Shah, their director. Would you mind meeting up with him? Of course. I'll look into it for you. I'm so sorry. That was a long meeting. Yeah. Overran massively. However, look at this. Tell me what you think. So how do you know her? Jane. Oh, you know, classmates. Dated for a year. You can always tell when a guy still cares for a girl. They always sound like they barely know each other. Yeah, nothing serious, just puppy love stuff. Guaranteed 15% annual returns. It's pretty high. Have you done a risk assessment on them yet? Did a quick search. So, they're the hottest peer-to-peer -peer lender in Asia at the moment. Raised 50 billion from a million investors. Seems legit. Actually, I'm gonna meet with the director tomorrow. New company with no track record and high guaranteed returns. This <laughs> seems too good to be true. Don't be so quick to judge. Just because our client wants to invest elsewhere doesn't mean we shouldn't I'm not help. saying that. I just think we need to do our due diligence. Remember what you told me? We shouldn't be blinded by our emotions. I'm sorry, are you trying to tell me my past with Jane is affecting my judgment? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Thank you so much for your advice. Enjoy your lunch. 
Sure, Mr. Fong. Yeah, I'll help you look into it. Okay, talk to you soon. Sup? I need your help with something. A P2P lender called New Horizon. I've been trying to find out more about them, but I keep coming up empty. Not to mention it's going to take weeks for me to do it on my own. Do you think you can help? I could get the other research officers to pitch in. I'll check with our colleagues in other markets. They might have some info. Thank you, guys. I owe you one. Jasper. Mr. Shaw, how are you? Call me Victor. Of course, Victor. Lafroy 18 on the rocks. Eight ball, huh? Wow. Well, Mr. Shaw, I was wondering if we could discuss maybe, you know, talking about the... You play pool? Well, I play a little snooker. Same difference. Actually, Mr. Shaw, I do have a few Victor. more... Victor, I have a few questions about New Horizon. Specifically, how do you guarantee such a high rate of return? Let me tell you about a banker I once knew. Young, talented, and good looking, just like you. But he didn't bother himself about the numbers. He understood that business is ultimately is about lining up the right people and relationships. Now what I'm really interested in is how you and I can work together. We're sitting on a ton of cash and we're gonna need more than one bank to handle it. You know what I'm saying? What did happen to that young banker? He left banking and went on to manage the largest P2P lender in Asia. You're looking at him, kid. Take your time to review them. I can answer any questions you have. Excuse me. Jasper, can I ask you to step out for a moment? I'm busy. It's important. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me. Don't sign anything until I'm back. Okay. Just because you do not agree with me does not mean you can sabotage Jane's investment. There's something you need to see. It's better be good. This is New Horizons site. It has a list of all the projects and companies investors can choose to invest in. Yeah, I've seen all this. What's the point? When we dug deeper, we found out that all these different companies don't actually do anything. And it gets better. All of this is owned by one shell company with dozens of overseas accounts. Guess who owns the shell company? New Horizon. Which means that all the investment funds are cycled back through New Horizons. It's just a massive Ponzi scheme. What? I just thought that if they met here, I could keep an eye on the deal, and it was just a better right than I hope you fully grasp the gravity of the situation. Not only have you put your client in an extremely difficult position, you may have implicated the bank as a possible accessory to a fraud. Let's go stop it now. Beautiful. Well, just in time, Jasper. Time for the celebration. Jane, we have to avoid the agreement. What? Some new information has just come to light. We believe that New Horizon is operating a fraudulent business. A massive Ponzi scheme, to be precise. Mr. Shah, I will need to ask you to vacate the premises immediately. Remember what we talked about, Jasper. You don't want to be the one responsible for losing millions worth of potential business for your bank. I'm his boss. I'm the one ultimately responsible. And you are? I'm Carolyn Tan. In that case, Ms. Tan, I'd like to meet your boss. Claire? Go find Chester and tell him his presence is requested here. Okay. Miss Song? I'm Chester Teo. And you must be Mr. Shah. Please call me Victor. Now, I've gone through the documents, Mr. Shah, and let me first extend my apologies for the lack of courtesy you received. No harm, no foul. Just... Now, Michael, could you please put a freeze on Miss Song's account and flag it as a victim of potential fraud? You're making a big mistake. While I regret the poor treatment that you've received, I stand by our team's recommendation. And since Jane's account is frozen, the funds cannot be transferred. Now, if you wish to lodge a complaint, you're more than welcome to speak to my boss at head office. Or shall I call him for you now? Victor. If you'll excuse me. A real shame, Jasper. Big mistake. Okay. Her investment's all set. It'll mature when your daughter goes to university. And whilst it's not the guaranteed 15%, <laughs> <laughs> it is safe, and you and your daughter will be protected. 
Jane, once again, I'm so sorry for the mess. It's okay. You were just trying to help. <clears throat> Jasper. He was the most important man on this planet. Can you believe that guy? He's like, can let me talk to your boss? <laughs> Jasper, hey. grab a seat. Carolyn. What's this? It's my resignation. 